Welcome back to the channel guys. It is Thursday and I think I've been saying it's May but it's actually June. It is June the 8th and uh, first thing we're going to do this morning we're going to get some pivots going. We're over here in Autogaville. Uh, Dad fixed a hydraulic line out there in the field yesterday and also the airplane flew on the fungicide so we are ready to send some water to the corn. Uh, so the first thing we got to do is we're going to drain some water down in there, wet the well. We're going to go out in the field, crank the pivot up out there, get it walking. Then we'll come back and uh, we'll pull the water up from the ground and uh, send it out there to the pivot. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Gray Rocks and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get that pivot going and then eventually we're going to end up in the valley uh, laying by some soybeans. So it's going to be a busy day. You got it. Let's get it started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this valve right here. That's going to allow water to go through that yellow hose and uh, start wetting the well and get it good and wet before we crank it up and uh, get it going. All right, let's go out in the field and see if we can get that motor going. Y'all don't know how nice that is to finally be able to drive down here instead of having to walk through that. That's awesome. Looks good. Good to me. So this pivot right here is the one that dad James came out here and uh, worked on and put the hydraulic line on but dad said it had, was under so much pressure when it busted that it like bent up some metal lines and stuff and when I cranked it up this morning it's making a lot of humming noise like vibration noise it just sounds like that pump is under extreme amount of pressure uh, so I came back out here I want to look at the hydraulic gauges if they're pegged out that means we got something going on and we need to shut it down but if they look okay then uh then we're good to go but but i just wanted to come back out here and take one more look at it good to me last thing we got to do is we're going to bring it up to full pressure we're going to try to get 60 pounds of pressure out here at the pivot um and then after after we do that if everything looks okay last thing we're going to do is uh we're going to hook our wires up safety wires in case one of the motors cuts off it'll cut the other one off and uh that's the last thing we got to do then we can head to gray rocks i guess i'll show you the corn while we're cruising through it Looking good. I 
you always want to look at the lower leaves that is where the diseases start they can start from the bottom and they work their way up the plant so if your bottom leaves look okay then you're pretty good at the moment and they look pretty good there you go to full pressure we always want to make sure the water is coming out the end gun and by the end gun I mean it's coming out the very end of the pivot I don't know if y'all can see that but it's shooting a big it's like a big sprinkler head anyway it's I can see it coming out so we can uh, we can bring her on up now Before I hook the wires up, we are up to full water pressure. Uh, I want to go in here. Gabe installed new software. He's only done three pivots um, so far. But anyway, you can go in here on this app. And I want to see if the one out in the field, if that motor is still on. Here you go. And it is on. But I don't know why it's saying pump dry. Well, anyway obviously we got water through it maybe it just needs a minute or two to uh to update but anyway brand new system still learning about this app but it's called um field wise We've made it to Gray Rocks, and uh, this corn right here is a little bit behind the Taugaville. Uh, it's getting ready to uh, start tasseling at any moment. You can actually find a plant that's got a tassel if you look hard enough, but that's the stage it's at. I don't know what all these things are doing. Get out of here. What? What are y'all doing? And this pivot right here is a little bit different than the one in Otagaville. This is all runoff generators. This is a generator. Um, so we'll crank it up and then we'll hit a button. I like to go ahead and always get my pivot walking first before I turn on the water. Um, that's just the way I did. And if you remember on the last time we were down here, we had battery trouble. Well, come to find out. The alternator is not charging the battery once the motor's running. We had that problem last year. We sent the motor off. We had an oil leak too. Uh, they had to replace the seal. They replaced that, but they did not fix the uh, basically the alternator. So we got this charger rigged up right here. So once I crank this motor up, this battery charger is going to charge the battery the whole time while it's running. It's got a cord that comes out of that box and then goes to that so we'll see if she'll fire up Ooh. 
Okay, so here's how this works. Uh, the Alabama River is right on the other side of those trees, and we've got a pipe that's under the water sticking out in the river. And this is obviously a giant generator. It's going to send electricity to the pump, which is going to send water underground all the way to the pivot. But a little leery about the way this one works because once you crank up this generator, it pretty much comes up to full throttle. So it's going to send full water pressure to the pivot. And I don't know how it does not blow the end gun off, but it doesn't. So anyway, let's see if we can fire it up. Our fan belt held. Check out the app and see if the Gray Rocks pivot is working. Yes, see, that is what it's supposed to look like. That's it for Gray Rocks. We are done. The only thing I got to do is I got to grab one tissue sample in this field. Uh, when the results came back, it was a little bit off. And uh, anyway, I'm going to go grab that one sample and send it back off. Then we're going to go to the valley. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of uh, soybean tissue samples so we can get them sent off and then we're gonna get on the sprayer. Tissue sample bag. Hey, Gabe. Yes, sir, man, I'm sorry. I flat forgot to call you back. No, that's fine. Um, the pivot over in Otagaville, it's not showing that it's irrigating. It's showing that it's cranked up, um, but on the pump, it's showing dry. Okay, which one? The eight tower, the one closest to the highway. Triple R Farms. Sample number. This will be GR1B. Crop corn. What's today? 6 8. Stage of growth. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're at V10. Well, it looks like it's just going to be one of those days. Um, the pivot in the Togville, I was talking to Gabe. The reason it wasn't showing water, he had to adjust the setting on the app. So next time I get the water going, um, it should turn the uh, pivot blue when the water starts coming out, but according to the app, the pivot's off. No water's coming out. It, the motor out in the field is off, so yep, you guessed it. We are going back to Togville. See if we can figure out what's going on. Now we gotta figure out why it cut off. That is the question of the day. I do know this. These are the wires that go, this one goes underground all the way to the pivot out there in that field. The other wire is this one right here. It goes to the pivot. I do know this, that we were having trouble when I hooked this wire up to the long pivot. We got a short somewhere. So now I'm thinking it's on this wire right here that stays with the pump is what I'm guessing. Uh, there's a Murphy gauge back here. Uh, behind this box it may be going bad so now that we can watch it with the app uh, probably what I'm gonna do is leave this wire unhooked and uh, we'll just watch it on our phone and that'll tell us which motor one of them will stay running uh, and that'll tell us which one is cutting off so that's probably what I'm gonna do I've already made my decision so we'll crank it up the well's still wet 
uh, we'll start sending water back out to the field. Fan belt. That can break everything else. Gotta hold that Murphy button, Daniel. Why you want to give me trouble today? You did lose a little bit of oil. Okay. It is pivot oil, isn't it? Yeah. That went all over my glove. Got a hole in it. I wonder why it's coming out right there. All right, she's full. That's all it took. Let me set that right there. All right, put the cap on. Fire up. All right, let's check the app and uh, see if it's working now. Dogville. Nope. Okay, here's where we are. Gabe is actually on the phone with technical support for this app. Um, for some reason, it shows on the app that the panel is off, and that means that this motor is off, but it's obviously on. So I'm going to sit tight, wait for him to call me back to make sure there's nothing I need to do out here on the motor. Um, to make this all work. We're still in the learning process of using this type of software on these pivots. Um, we used to have AgSense. Anyway, we've swapped to this other brand field-wise and uh, it's supposed to be a lot more detailed and do a lot more with each pivot and it can go on any brand of pivot. But we gotta get everything set up right and uh, learn how to work it on the app. But we're just gonna sit tight, wait back to hear from Gabe and uh, then we'll go from there. This is what I'm talking about. See right here? Well, we got the devices. Well, now it's working. Look at there. Panel is on reverse, but we're going forward. It's probably got to walk enough to, uh, probably haven't walked far enough to figure out which direction it's going, but the pump is wet. 16 pounds of pressure. That's at the very end of the pivot at the end gun. And, uh, anyway, everything else looks good. We're finally blue. That arrow at the end of the pivot should change direction shortly. But, um, I guess he fixed it. Way to go, Gabe. So I think that's going to wrap it up for Togville. Now we got to get on the road. we got to go through Selma. We'll grab some Wendy's, get a hamburger, some french fries, and a sweet tea. We'll get to the valley and, uh, see if we can start laying by some beans. Hopefully that's the last time I have to look at that pivot today. She's working. my mind we're going to Burger King all right it's time to get some soybean samples tissue samples uh, what you want to do on the soybeans we want to get tissue samples when they're flowering and yeah see right there boy these beans look good man 47.95 Revere soybeans um, these are some of the first we planted, but they look good. Okay, so what we do on soybeans when we take tissue samples is we want to get the most fully developed, the upper most fully developed trifoliate. And the trifoliate is these three leaves right here. That's the way soybeans do when they branch off. They're always in uh, groups of three. 
So you'll see three leaves, that's a trifoliate, but what we want to do is get the fully most developed, the uppermost fully developed, and that is it right there. And you don't want the stem, all you need is the leaf. You don't want that long stem right there. So we'll walk around, we'll make a big loop out here, grabbing these and randomly as we go, and then we'll put them in our bag. And uh, once we get the bag about three-fourths full, then, uh, then we're done with this field. Bag number two. So this is over here in the valley in the Edwards. And uh, that is that Texas Panicum. Look at that stuff. It is coming on like crazy. And this is the broadleaf signal grass, I believe, right there. They look totally different. That one grows up tall, kind of like Johnson grass. It comes out of the ground shooting up real tall. And the Texas Panicum stays real low to the ground at first. When it first starts growing, that's how you can tell the difference. But, uh, it's coming. Got him. Y'all remember these guys? Those are those snails. And they are climbing up on the soybean plant. See right here? Now what are y'all doing on my plants? This is why they're making me nervous. See them? Look at that big one. Look at them. They're all over. Don't like it. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. Uh, I'm about to jump on the Rogator and uh, go lay by some beans. Uh, I'm going to be putting out Roundup. Let's see, Quart to the Acre Roundup. I'm putting uh, Boron Plus from Delta Ag. We're going four ounces of that. That's all you need. It's a good product. Um, putting out Molly, six ounces to the Acre. Uh, let's see, Extended Max. That's uh, 2,4-D. I mean, Extend the max. Uh, we're going 22 ounces of that. That is the dicamba. Uh, that's going to take care of all the broad leaves and everything. What else? Something else. I don't know. I think that's it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I know it was a crazy day, a lot of irrigation video, but um, that's just the way it was today. We're going to get on the road gator. We're going to try to knock out a bunch of acres, and uh, we'll see y'all on the next video. See ya. We're out.